Uh, okay guys, uh, today I will be showing the water level controller uh, in the boiler. Okay, now you can see, right now we have a system here where the water I will start on PID and uh, right now the water level you can see uh, it is minimum and you are getting 4 milliamps here. Okay, you are getting 4 milliamps, then you focus on the scene here. Now I will uh, start the system, you see, file and start. Once I start, it is on the PID controller, you can see the 420 milliamps is increasing, you can see and you can see the graph also. As you can see the graph, it is increasing, see the graph is coming here, okay, this is on the PID controller if I am correct, it 50 percent, it has come to 12, okay. And uh, you can see the graph also here moving. Can you see the graph moving? And uh, you can see the water level here on this water level. We have connected the multimeter to show the milliamps from the system here. So it, it will try to maintain this. Okay. So in the ship also, it is a similar thing where water level will be maintained. Where we have a uh, we have a, on the ship you have the float rate switch is there plus we have the differential transmitter is there which will sense the level and the valve will open and close according to the requirement so you can see the water level here now i will change this to the another mode okay you can focus here on the computer here i am going to change the control to another mode right now it go control then i put it on on off on off mode so when it is on off mode you can see uh, the water is coming down and you can see the milliamps also coming down here ok this is also coming then it will pick up you see it started on off then go to that point then come down you can see the water level is rising that water level is rising then at this point again this will come here you see here and again dropping this is on off normally on the ship we will be using the PID control not on ok so any doubt on this any anything you want to ask you want to understand yeah? so can you focus on this instrument here so we have taken the tapping here you can see the water level and this so you will keep on going up and down on and off ok so this is on and off normally we use the PID control ok now I will change to PID controller uh, you see, I am going to the controls. I am going to the controls here. Then I go to PID controller. Start. Once I put PID controller, again the graph changes here. You can see the graph is coming, and here also the water is coming down. You can see that. So this is very nice uh, uh, explanation where you can see the 420 milliamps plus the motor is uh, actually a VF. A VFD motor, it is connected to a VFD motor, so it is rotated at different RPM. Uh, in the ship, you may have a VFD motor or you can have a normal also. Okay? So this is a VFD motor, you can see the graph very nicely, it is steady. Now it is a PID controller, the level is maintaining. You can see that level, it is maintaining and you can see the milliamps also here. Okay, okay guys, uh, thank you very much.